Hello viewers! Good morning and have a great day ahead and welcome back to the next episode of It's School Time! Good morning, Mom She. How are you doing? Hi, Mom Jovi. I'm doing good. You know, last week was an amazing one because we learned about another topic that yes. really gave a lesson to everyone, especially to the students and the teachers. That's good to hear, Mom She. And yes, I agree what you have said because Today is going to be an exciting one because we are going to tackle about another topic for this episode. Exactly! So to all our viewers out there, stay tuned everyone because later on, there are no people that will help us and give further explanation in this episode. So today, we're going to talk about curriculum innovation. How to create a curriculum innovation. Yes, that's right, Mom Shea. And you know what? I'm so excited for this because I know it will really help us to give a better understanding for this topic. And of course, to our students. But first, let us talk about what is curriculum innovation. So, Mom Shea, can you give us a quick information or brief background information about what is curriculum innovation? All right, so when I say curriculum innovation, so the term curriculum first, it refers to the lesson and academic, academic content taught in a school or in a specific course or program. In dictionaries, curriculum is often defined as the courses offered by a school, but it is rare, rarely used in such a general sense in school. So when we say uh, innovation, it is a new idea device or method the act of process of introducing new ideas devices or methods thank you mom she for that information okay to add more or to sum it up curriculum innovation means that any changes in the curriculum that is either planned or advanced so we can say or we can conclude that Curriculum innovation can be planned or unplanned. So since we have already an idea about or regarding curriculum, now let us proceed to the most important part of this topic, So, which is how to create a curriculum innovation. <coughs> yes, you know, Mom Job, there are types of curriculum innovation for teachers, head teachers, and for the master teachers. And later on, there are three personalities will explain about that. Exactly, Mom She. And without further ado, let us welcome from the Division of Zamboanga del Norte High School Department, Mom Jolene Carvajal for teacher, Mom Jess Bilalulin for head teacher, and of course, Mom Isa Diaz for master teacher. Let us welcome a round of applause, please. Hello, Mom. Welcome to It's School Time. How are you today? Thank you, Mom She. Thank you, Mom Jo. Thank you for having us here. Thank you, Mom She. Thank you, Mom Jo. I'm good. And thank you for inviting me us here. And to all of you words, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Mom Jo. Thank you, Mom Che. I'm doing good, too. And hello to our viewers out there. Um, have a nice day ahead. Okay. All right. So, Mom, thank you. I know you are busy with your staff there, the way your personal things and your private things. Then we are thankful because you guys spend time with us today in here in it's school time. Okay. So let's start with Jodelin Carbohal. Mom Jodeline Carbajal is actually from the Division of Zamblanda del Norte, currently working as teacher one in Sindangan National High School, Sindangan Zamblanda del Norte. Uh, so go ahead, Mom. Okay, as a teacher to create a curriculum innovation, it can provide a distinctive embedded for sitting in teaching learning. Hence, a teacher uh, Active experimentation during curriculum innovation is to become a influential process. And also, in innovative teaching, is very very good. The teacher is a uh, is to become an inventive or creative. That's all. 
Okay, thank you, Ma'am Jovelyn, for providing us, especially to the viewers out there, about curriculum innovation for teachers. So now let us proceed to the next person who will surely enlighten us to the next topic. So she is from the division of Zamboanga del Morte and currently working as head teacher in Sindana National Agricultural School. And now let us welcome Ma'am Jezebel Domlin. As a head teacher, to manage school and create the right condition for children and staff to achieve their success. Thank you, Ma'am Julie, for giving us knowledge and guide about what you have said a while ago. Of course, not but not the least for the master teacher. Let us welcome our a gorgeous master teacher. She is also from the division of Zamwanda the Marquis and currently working as master teacher in Cheyenne Central School. Ma'am? Thank you, Ma'am Che. The master teacher will serve a mentor, facilitator, curriculum specialist, collaborator, and advocate the professional development and other vital policies within the edu educational institution. There are some characteristics of master teacher. First, create an environment that advances students' learning. The second one is have a passion for teaching. The third one is have re respectful classroom. Desire to be excellent teacher and have high expectations for themselves for becoming exemplary teachers. And the last one is believe all students can be learned. Master teachers believe that all students can learn and they are committed to the success of their students. They possess a they are committed to the success of their students. Teachers believe that all students can learn and they are committed to the success of their students. They possess a deep understanding of how students learn and develop and they strive to create positive learning environments for all students. There are ways to become a master teacher. First is have a passion for teaching students. The second one is set realistic expectations for your students. The third one is educate your yourself. Inspire your students and peers. The fifth one is be confident in your experience and knowledge. And the last one is get creative while being effective. That's all. Hey, thank you, Mom Diaz. So, you know, Mom, that is really a great help to us because including me, Mom She, uh, it is my dream to become a uh, to become the position where you're in. So, thank you for that um, knowledge that you have given to us, not only me, but also to the viewers out there. Same here, Mom Joe. So, and we're really grateful because we are able to talk with yeah, them, exactly, yeah, ma'am, despite of their busy schedules. That's right, once again, thank you everyone, thank you to ma'am um, Carbajal, ma'am Domlin, ma'am Diaz, okay. It was all mentioned a while ago, the knowledge and the guidelines on how to create a curriculum innovation. So the purpose of this is to achieve the goal in curriculum in innovating the curriculum for the students as well as the teachers and to all the personals uh, involved in the school. Yes, Mom Job. Thank you everyone to all the viewers out there. Thank you for spending your time. Your Thank you everyone to all the viewers out there. Thank you for spending your time with us. We hope that you learned something from this episode. All right. Thank you everyone and see you to the next episode. Only here in It's School Time. Bye guys!